Daddy, what big teeth you have! Oh, what a wimp that girl was! Yuck, what is that? Tea! I could use a cup. Oh, this souvenir scrapbook is full of sniveling wimps. Ah, someone decent at last. What a man, that Captain Hook. Always ready with a helping hand. <laughs> Look what a fabulous witcherly character your auntie was then. Yes, she certainly was on fire. To think I'm now here in this miserable real world. The witches were burned at the stake a mere 400 years ago. Well, look at the bright side. Here on Earth, we turn them into TV show heroines. Ha 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 ha! Get a load of his highness! <laughs> to program the air conditioning with your wand again. It's easy to do it without magic. How do you expect me to remember all those buttons? <laughs> your wand! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> up Jack's beanstalk. Get him out of here! Fast! The neighbors will see him! How nice to see you, Mr. Giant! Pass on my greetings to darling Olga! Uh, a meteorite! Pulverized into a million pieces on landing. Mommy! Tom, can you tell us how Napoleon's career began? Um, Napoleon? Oh, oh, me, 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 me. Didn't he uh, stow away on a ship and become the greatest pirate ever? <laughs> <laughs> Maureen? His first real opportunity came as captain of artillery at the Siege of Toulon, where he held back the British under ferocious fire. <laughs> certainly can make us laugh, Tom. But if you want to make it through to the next semester, I suggest you do some very serious work on your Napoleon report. <sighs> Napoleon lost the Battle of Waterpool. Oh, no. Waterloo. <sighs> How can I ever remember such complicated names? Why not just cheat instead of overtaxing your brain like a swat? What are you trying to do? Make me ashamed of you? Ferocia? How could you suggest such a thing? Tom will succeed in life thanks to hard work and a marvelous attitude. Oh, yeah? Who asked for your opinion, big fella? Can you guys go and fight somewhere else? If I get a bad mark on this, my class average will be worse than Waterloo. You're still on the internet? I'm supposed to be online in 10 minutes with my girlfriends. You are so lucky to be an only child. Blah, 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 blah. Tom? I've been waiting for ages. We were supposed to play badminton, remember? Listen, I don't have time for this. If I don't get this project done, I am in big trouble. Why will you be in trouble, Tommy? Because I can't do any of this real-world school stuff. I'm useless. I'm the worst in the class. I don't believe that for a minute, darling. You're so clever. Oh, look at you moving all those things around by magic. It's not magic, Mom. It's technology. See, this is how you copy a document into the hard disk, into the computer's brain. Put it that way. That fast? <gasps> That's amazing. Hmm. Well, then. Hmm? Oh, oh, nothing, sweetie. We're having fish for dinner. Excellent for your memory. Wait and see. <laughs> his history book. Geography. 
see yes, that's always useful. Oh, yes, grammar is nightmare. Oh, what the heck, while I'm at it. And allow me to add that on the day of his crowning, Napoleon I was escorted by 25 carriages, 152 horses, and two Pekingese dogs, a personal gift from the Emperor of China. The Ganges, of course, flowing into the sea at the Bay of Bengal. Oh, such knowledge of the Far East. Well, strictly speaking, Miss Tinker, India isn't in the Far East. It would be regarded as the Indian subcontinent. That was incredible. That's all I can say. Well, I did study really hard, and I ate fish yesterday. That must be it. Check to your king. You're not gonna let that pipsqueak beat you. Same mistake as Caspar Choi during the World Championships in 1962. Our champion's getting ripped by a seventh grader. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Tom, come and see me after class. We need to talk. <laughs> so now Miss Tinker thinks I'm highly gifted because of my incredible memory. She wants an urgent meeting with you and Dad. She even wants to put me in a special school. That's marvelous, darling. Just what you deserve. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. It doesn't? Imposter! It was you, Mom, wasn't it? Oh, no! Do you know what you've done? I'm so pleased, darling, that you like your little gift. Well, son, how did your report go? Uh, well... Let's just say that, that, um... Top of the class. Do you realize what that means? He's the champion. He stole the show. Well done, kiddo. See? Hard work pays. Oh, you've made your dad very proud indeed. You didn't cheat, did you? No. Um, well, not really. Mom? Oh, come, come, Gregor. What will you dream up next? But he's my little boy. What's wrong with giving him little treats now and then? Our son cannot go through life cheating, and this is cheating. Well, technically, if I already know all this stuff, then I'll never need to really cheat again. He has a point, darling. Willow. Oh, all right. Except for those syntax chapters. He had such problems with grammar, I... Um, okay, okay. You can be such a stickler for rules sometimes. Now, close your eyes and relax. What's wrong, my darling dragonfly? <laughs> oh my, why are we in the Three Bears' house? Is Goldilocks here too? Why are you dressed up so fancy? Ah, uh, why do you always get us in these situations? But how could this be our house? Where are my mat wing curtains? F flying cups my mother gave us for our wedding. They flew back to Fairyland. Didn't like the weather? Okay, I get it. Grandma Ogre is coming and we have to hide in case she gets but hungry. Mom, and... I'm telling you, we are in the real world. R-E-A-L, real. This is where we live now. 
That's enough silly talk about the real world, Tom. We all know the real world only exists mm. in children's bedtime stories. Mom, remember? We had to leave Fairyland because of the you're a fairy and dad's an ogre and fairies and ogres aren't supposed to marry business. That's ridiculous, Tom. Are you saying I wouldn't have remembered something like that? Uh, uh yes. yes. Oh, I know what's happened. Merlin created this elaborate illusion. He's really gone too far this time. <sighs> Great. So when does the nightmare end? I'm going to pop over to Merlin and tell him we figured out his little joke. <coughs> oh, oh, my silver-winged dragonfly. In the real world, you cannot go through walls. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. If anyone sees your mom like this, the whole town will know where we come from. And what I did. What's that crying to sir? How many times do I have to say it? It's a legend. I never ate children. Way we're letting her out. Oh, look, what an unusual door. Mom, come back! Willow, my darling, you don't know what you're doing! Door! And I thought I was the excitable one. Oh dear, I forgot my wand. <laughs> the wand! Quick, grab it before Mom gets it! <laughs> <laughs> trouble. <laughs> uh, let's split up. The first one who finds her brings her back home. <sighs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Tom! <laughs> you must be his father. Well, I was hoping we'd meet. Miss Tinker, Tom's teacher. I'm charmed. That's dreadful! Who charmed you? <laughs> hey, Princess! Fell off the sidewalk, did you? Oh, how sweet. You know, I'm just a commoner fairy, really. But I'll be happy to cast a spell for you if you wish. <laughs> yeah, cast a spell. Why don't you cast yourself out of my way so I can get by and get home to my wife? Take a bow. <laughs> Tinkerbell's husband? Oh, uh, tell her I said hello and congratulations on the wedding! <coughs> oh, children on wheels, carriages without horses. What a very odd tale this is. With a memory like Tom's, it's urgent to test his IQ. Oh, of course, of course, his I do. <laughs> Seeing that Tom knows so much about so many things, I suppose he comes from a highly cultivated family. What, in fact, do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? Before we moved, uh, Dad was in the uh, restaurant business. Just leave them like that, could I? Leave who? The dwarves. That wicked witch must have changed them into stone, the poor things. Mom, those are garden gnomes. They're statues, that's all. Oh, are they? Oh dear, I was always so bad at faces. Then, do you mean she's not a witch? Next time, I'll sit Brutus on you! Are you sure she's not a witch? Tom needs special schooling to suit his extraordinary capacities. It would be a crime to waste talent like that. Can you and your wife join me at the school tomorrow? <laughs> I'd like you to both meet the principal. Uh, tomorrow will be a problem. Mom has swimming classes at the pool. Dad, are you coming? We're gonna be late. Goodbye, Miss Tinker. What? Everything's been changed around. I, I couldn't find Merlin's house anywhere, and I don't get it. Why can't I fly here? 
<laughs> well, what do you know? So really, you mean it? This is where I live? Oh, then I ought to answer the door, right? Yes, I'm coming! Mom, no! Hello, ma'am. Your husband forgot his keys at the coffee shop. Oh, my Gregor is always collecting the strangest things. <laughs> But please, come inside for a cup of tea. How extraordinary. You look so like our cousin Tinkerbell. I must introduce you to her one day. Do I work? Oh, what a question. But you see, I'm a fairy. Good mom. Yes, a very, very good mom. Yes, indeed. Mom even did all the decoration here in the house. How lovely to have Tom's teacher to tea. What subjects do you teach? Spells, shrinking, vanishing? <laughs> oh, good old mom. Always ready with the joke. She really is the family clown. And uh, your husband is in the restaurant business? Is he really? Gregor, you didn't tell me that. Let me introduce you to my teacher. Oh, you're the person responsible for teaching the little boys and girls to be good. Well, yes, I... Revolting. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that was a great success. Well done, everyone. Uh, you know, you needn't be afraid of me. I swear, I've never eaten anyone in my life. Miss Tinker, you'll be fine. Why don't you just have a rest while we go downstairs for a minute? His Highness here will look after you. Hello, my dear lady. What a pleasure it is to be given the honor to pass a little time in your company. Would it be entirely inappropriate to ask for a kiss? <laughs> Another one with a headache. This is the absolute worst possible, possible worst thing that could ever happen. That's my teacher. What does she think of me now? Oh, Tom, I'm sure she still thinks you're a very decent, kind, honorable young man. With an ogre as a dad. So, yes, well, that was uh, an unfortunate slip of the tongue. <sighs> I'll go upstairs and help Mom with her memory. And you have to keep Miss Tinker here until we can sort out this mess. And try not to make any more slips of the tongue. Absolutely. You can count on me, son. Yes, you do. That's the day Dad emptied the entire pool when he dove in. Remember? Uh, no. What's a swimming pool? <gasps> now wait, I think I remember this. Let's see. Oh, that's the Enchanted Cave in Disneyland. You know, even before I turned vegetarian, I never really ate that much raw meat. I know I had the mega steak tartare special ones, but, but it was just because I had missed my breakfast, and they were out of salads, and I was so hungry. Oh, I'm not boring you rattling on, am I? Oh, good. I feel so much better just talking to you. You're so... Oh, how can I put it? So... human. Oh. If we follow computer logic, her memory can't be wiped out for good because Mom didn't finish the spell. <gasps> what if her memory is in the... Forget it, Sherlock. I've already been there. Doesn't that sound like Puss in Boots purring? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Look! <sighs> Now, how did that happen? Have you been playing with my magic wand again, Tom? I get it. Mom's memory was put into sleep mode. That's why she can't remember anything. So what do we do now? Mom, why don't you try to wake up your reflection? What a lovely idea. We could ask me to tea. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Have you thought this over, Tom? You really want me to remove those syntax chapters from your brain? Yay! <laughs> Do we know 
know each other. Of course we do, since you're me. Would you like to come to tea? How charming. I'd simply love to. And then the funniest thing happened when I turned 304. I was coming out of the Black Forest, and I turned around. Well, he looks... <gasps> no! <laughs> it's okay, Miss Tinker. Everything is fine. It's all just been a bad dream. Really. But he only has the history book and P to Z of the encyclopedia in his brain. Dad, can't I at least keep the history book, please? It's so hard to remember all those crazy names. Sorry, son. Just going to have to learn it the hard way. Willow? Oh, stand over by Miss Tinker, darling. I'll do you both together. There we go. I've just deleted Miss Tinker's memories from the time of your class presentation, Tom. And all your books are gone, I'm afraid. <sighs> but you're still the smartest little guy I know. Who knows the name of the person who discovered America? Tom, give it a go at least. Me, me, me. Uh, was it Elvis Presley? No, no, Mozart! No, wait, 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 I have it! Willy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't get a zero on the essay we have to write now. What essay? Why waste your time? It's not as if you're going to have a clue anyway. <laughs> don't tell me you forgot. It's about the fairy tale tradition. 